What's up, TB? Uh, change that up. Bam. How you doing, bro? Uh, this is gonna be a different kind of stream. It might not interest you. Let me see. Share factory. My channel. <clears throat> so for anyone watching in the future, when this isn't live, if you need help with a certain thing in Share Factory, just check the comments below and I'll pin my own comment with timestamps. Uh, like how to do an intro or splitting clips or how to slow stuff up and down, speed stuff up or slow it down, effects, thumbnail, music, whatever. And you'll be able to see how to do that. And you can just skip ahead to that part of the video. Okay, let me see this. Copy. What's up, Statesman? I'm about to turn him on. Hey, Arnold. How you doing? Uh, connect. Yes. I'm not playing H1 right now, just so y'all know. But if you want to see how to make a video on Share Factory, I got you. A couple people asked me to do this, so the turtle should be on now for you. Um, let's see. <laughs> I got all these tags for each one. It's whatever. What's up, Easy? What's up, Curtis? I'm just gonna show y'all how to use Share Factory. A couple people wanted me to show them, so I was trying to make it a video, but I, I kept forgetting certain things and I think it'll it'll help to do it live so if someone asks me a question or they don't understand something I'm saying I could just show them a little more uh, it's called Fussbot Statesman <laughs> yeah they ran away easy <laughs> I changed it <laughs> if you lose it says they ran away <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's funny, dude. Yeah, Fussbot. Um, hang on, I'll, I'll link you the video I watched so your son can do it. That was this one. Share, copy link. What's up, Dead Eye? Hey Mike. No, not today, Battle Cry. Watch watch that video, um Statesman. And that'll show your son how to do it. Okay, so let me let me get started. So first of all, your settings. This is where um if you don't even know how to get clips, you gotta make sure that you've got the I d I don't know if Share Factory comes automatically on your PlayStation, but if it if it's not on your PlayStation, I think you go to the store and just look up Share Factory and download it. I, I, I could be wrong, but... So anyway, to get the clips, you go to Settings and Sharing and Broadcasts. And then you can pick your Share button control type. You got Standard or Easy Screenshots. I use Standard. So for me, when I want to record the last, uh, wait, what's up? You gonna edit? Yeah, easy. You wanna know how to split? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm get to that, MJ, for sure, bro. But for me, um, to record, I just, my settings is I hold down the share button until I hear that little beep, and then I click it, and then I've got the option, why is it saying screenshot? should say save video clip maybe it's because i'm not playing the game right now but but yeah it's all it's all about this oh it's not the options but it's the share button here but yeah so you would hold down the share button so you hear the beep and then click it in again and then save video clip 
but you got video clip settings so you can decide how far you want how much you want it to record each time i just got mine on 30 minutes dimensions i would say to have it on this one so that your videos can be played in 1080p uh screenshot settings i don't really know about all this but these are what i have broadcast oh, that's that's for streaming you got audio sharing settings so you probably want this turned on so people can hear you and uh share party audio already audio if you don't want your friends to be heard then just have this one off okay so that's enough of the settings let's get into share factory i use the easy screenshots one it's kind of a pain but i think it's worth it yeah either one you want it doesn't matter i haven't tried that one to be honest okay so first i'm gonna show you how to make an intro so you just click here new project and they got these uh pre-made intros that are you could just just throw your name on it and it's done like i'll show you we'll do this horror one and we could start project hit square and then rename the project and put it i would put your name on there you could put like i don't know i'm just gonna have my name but you could and the reason you do that is because it's gonna put your name in the uh in the little intro you'll see <clears throat> yeah, it'll have your name and then your little, uh, your little symbol or whatever, your avatar, I mean, and, and if you don't like any of this, you could, you could take some of it off, just hit square and delete it, but I'm going to show you how to make a better intro, so new project, and uh, to start, you'll click this, but then... You can get rid of all of them except one. Just by unchecking them, you're getting rid of it. And then we'll start the project with square. You know, it doesn't matter. That, oh, actually, yeah, change the name. You want to name it intro. Because you're going to use this in the future. So hit continue. And then hit X to add. See the bottom the bottom bar here is like telling you all the what all the buttons do. Square is like to edit stuff. All right, thanks, Easy. I'll see you later, bro. So hit X and add screenshot. And they got some cool ones. There's a few, like uh, they got this cloud one that moves. The eclipse doesn't move, but uh, maybe it moves a little bit. I think it does. Yeah, a little bit. So you could use that one. Head cube, fire, stars. This is the one Easy uses. Um, but we're gonna use head cube. So hit that and then hit square. And so this is what the, the intro is going to be, but we're going to throw our name on there. So let's hit X to add overlay. And go to the left, go down to text, and you can use any font you want. We're gonna, I'm going to use this one. And I would just say put your name on there or whatever you want to be on your intro cube one looks cool yeah <laughs> okay so and you can decide how long you want your your word or whatever to be up there so we're gonna do the whole five seconds and what all these options mean is like transform is to move something around so we'll hit transform i'm gonna have my name right here that's good opacity is like how faded it is you probably want the opacity on 100 because you want people to see it you got color you could change the color if you want I'm going to leave mine white. And the reason the color's not changing is because the saturation is down. But you just turn the saturation up and it'll it'll be a different color. But I'm going to have mine white. You got text effects. It could look different. Um, text animation. So it's got three animations. The beginnings for when it first comes in. You could have it fade in, wipe in flying they got all kinds so just look around see what you like i'm gonna do uh, i'm just gonna do the fade in and then the middle animation we're gonna do 
we're going to do this one and then fade out and then click out of this circle circle and then just check it so that's what it's going to look like so far we're going to put some music on it i want to do split fade in or out uh what you mean i want to do split fade in or out uh, I'll show you how to split soon. Um, okay, so you probably want music on your intro, so wait, click click out until you get to this screen, and then hit X and add music here. And they got they got a few songs you can pick. You just hit R two to uh, listen to them. You split it fades, but don't answer that. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll try to show you that MJ but you could pick whatever song you just want five seconds of the song i already know the part of this song that i want to use it's going to be like right here yeah so we're gonna so to um to split this you hit square and then split music right there you just hit x and then x again to split confirm the split and then move over to this left and get rid of this so hit square delete music yes and then hit circle and go back over the music hit square move the music and we're going to move it over on top of our intro hit x to confirm so now it's going to so now we're going to we're going to hit square right here cuz that's that's all we want it to play and split the music again Hit X to split it, confirm, and delete this part. So hit square, delete, and then you got your intro there. And now you can get rid of this part. Um, just click out of this, hit square, delete this clip, and there you go, you got your intro. And you can do more to this if you want. I'll show you all a few more things you could do. So, um, square, edit overlays, square oh wait no i don't want to edit the overlay um x add overlay so you can make this uh you can make the camera shake if you want so we'll, we'll add a quake effect and we'll do it for the whole time and you can see how that looks <laughs> You might give somebody an uh, epileptic attack with that. I don't know, but whatever. You could you could add all kinds of stuff. Um, X again. They got um, theme stickers. Uh, just regular stickers. Get good pills. Lag switch. Trash can. <laughs> salt. These are some pretty funny ones, to be honest. But you could add this in whatever you want they got troll faces i'm gonna get rid of this effects so though i'm gonna scroll up to it hit uh square and delete camera confirm i'm just gonna leave the intro how it is so once you got your intro done just um hit options on your controller and export to gallery hopefully this is y'all still see me when i do this but <laughs> What's up, uh, who was that I just saw? Uneasy, what's up, dude? Trevor, okay. So then, don't share, unless you wanna share your intro and just upload that, but hit share later, and then click out of this, exit without saving, it's already saved. And then, so, new project, just click whatever, you're gonna delete it, so click all of those off. And then you'll have your intro, and then you can start adding your video, or you can make an outro. Um, the outro is the same concept, so I don't know if I should bother showing it. I don't think I need to. We're going to move into actually doing the video, so I could do like a montage, show how I do a montage, or I could just do a gameplay. Gameplay would probably be easier, and I could still show how to do everything, so I'll just do that. Um... So let's make a video about this uh, this 19 kill win here. So 
just hit X on it to confirm you're gonna add it and then um, hit square to start project uh, rename project just name it something it's not gonna be the actual title but just so you know what it is for later I'll just put 19 K win and continue so then your intro is gonna play um, I'm missing the first three kills of this so I, I probably have them recorded hang on add so we're gonna hit X add clip go down where was it so here's our 19 kill win so go right before that this is where our three kills are so add this also and now we need to get this over here so you just scroll over it hit square move clip and then hit L1 and X to apply and now we're gonna look for our, those three kills we got so instead of just holding your analog to the right that's gonna make it move pretty slow just swipe on your little like uh, thumb pad and you can go way faster so this is the game right here that we got the 19 kills yeah so we're gonna start we're gonna scroll away until we get to our first kill it's like right here somewhere so then you're gonna go ahead and hit square go over to split clip split it confirm and get rid of all this you don't need it and then we're gonna look for our first kill get our kill right there and split it again confirm and we'll see what that looks like Yeah, that works and then we're just gonna scroll forward so we get to our second kill okay it was right here so uh, click click circle till you get to this part uh, square split clip split clip yeah delete all this And I actually want to split a little more, or take a little more off, so we'll split it again, get rid of that. And split it there. That way you don't have a bunch of dead space on your videos. Oh, I remember this kill. It was hilarious, dude. This guy was lagging all over the place. So we'll split right here. This is pretty funny. <laughs> what? I'm laughing like a baboon. Okay, so we'll clip it there. That's why I recorded this. That's why I was like, uh, it wasn't all together because I'm I wanted to make sure I clipped that kill. But yeah, then so let's. I've never really done this. I'm gonna try to do it real quick. I think you can add a transition right here in between these. So let's see X. Um, add transition. Oh, I shouldn't have messed with this. I have no idea about this. Um, dissolves. Maybe dissolves. Fade through color. This might be good right here. So yeah, I guess that's not that hard. So you could have it fade in and out to the next clip. Just add those everywhere. Add transition. Fade through. You got burn fade. What does that look like? kind of cool so you get to add transitions um let me see what else they got add layout i'm not gonna mess with this stuff i'm not too familiar with it but yeah let's just keep going so we'll look for the fourth kill okay right here we'll split get rid of this Scroll forward to, 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 to four five. I think I'm gonna get another kill real soon, so I'm gonna leave it. Six, seven, eight. Okay, that was kind of a lot of dead space between the fourth or the fifth and sixth kill, so 
We're gonna split there. Hang on. So we get our fifth kill. Split there. Go ahead till the sixth one. Okay, right here. Um, we'll split right there. My bad if the if y'all are talking in there, I can't see it because my phone messed up. One sec. Okay, I can see it now. We're good. Y'all are just flipping your turtles. And can you show how to zoom in, like how you zoom in people's names when you kill them? Okay, MJ, yeah, I got you. Um, to zoom in on names, I'm not the best at it because, to be honest, I I learned I do that on my computer. So what I do for my videos is I I usually don't even go this in depth. I don't add transitions. I just clip it like I've been clipping it, and then I upload it private on private, and then download it on my PC and edit it on there. But um. To zoom in, I know how to zoom in, but I don't know about zooming in on a particular name. I'll try. Let me see. So let's say we wanted to zoom in on this guy's kill right there. So get to this screen, hit X, add overlay. We're going to move over here to the camera effects. And I believe it's got to be either drift or focus would do it. We'll try focus. So we'll just do it for two seconds here. Um, and actually you can change it. So say you want it to be a little longer, a little shorter, you just go here to camera duration and you can move your analogs and decide, oh, this is helpful actually. So we want it to zoom in on his name. Maybe you start zooming in right here. Let's see what this looks like. Ah, uh, see it? It goes a little too far. It's not even showing his name. And it's not even in the right spot. I want it to zoom in like that at least. That would be good, but... Um... Psh, let me think. Camera settings, maybe? Intensity would help? So what does this do? Is that zooming in even... Yeah, that zooms in even more. What if I move the camera position? Transform? What if I put it down here at the bottom? Will that zoom in on the bottom? Now it zooms into the same spot regardless. Um, what does the line do? That's not going to help me. Let's see. Let's delete this camera. Let me try the other the other camera. Uh, drift. Confirm. Let's see what this will do. Uh, I mean that that zoomed in a little bit. Let's see. Camera settings. Put the intensity to the top. I mean that that definitely makes the name a little bigger. It's not ideal. You want it to zoom in more than that, but that'll that'll make them see the name. So hopefully that helps you, MJ. But let's see. So we would go fast forward. Okay, we get the kill right there. And we'll split it right here. That's good enough. We're gonna move on to the ninth kill. Oh, hang on. Let me see if I wrote anything down. I think. Okay, so the other things I wanted to show was thumbnail and um and music. So let me just get through this, the rest of these kills real quick. If there's anything else y'all want to know, let me know. Oh yeah, I turned on this guy, I remember. 
Delete this. And then this guy gets away. I already remember this because I tried recording this Share Factory video yesterday. But I was, uh, I was forgetting to, like, really make a point on certain things. So I figured doing it live would be easier. So we're going to delete this excess. those two kills and that's all we're gonna get for a sec I think fast forward okay we get another kill right here I think it's a little bit so we get another oh yeah I remember this this was a nice oh no I, did... I was thinking of some other part Get some funny kills in this game. I'll split it right here. Fast forward. Okay, we killed him right here. I got you, MJ. No problem, dude. Confirm there. And okay. Split this, get rid of this. Get this snipe. Okay. Oh yeah, this is the dirtiest part of the game right here. Good night. <laughs> that was freaking sick, dude. So, if... Oh, another thing I wanted to show was, like, s slowing down clips. So, let's say we want to slow down on the snipe. We'll just split it right here before I aim in. So, we're going to split clip, confirm. And then get out of split mode by hitting circle. Hit square. And go over here to time bender. And we're gonna make it. Let's do it half speed. You can do. You can do. Um, you can have it on step or smooth. I forget which one looks better. To be honest, it says step. This current selection will step through the existing frames. I'll show you guys what they both look like. So here's step. kind of like the sound of that. I don't know if the sound's going to be different on the other one. Let me see. Time bender. Let's try smooth. They both sound disgusting. But so I'll just leave it like that. Split clip, confirm, get rid of this little excess. We're going to go to the next kill. It's right here. Firm. And then I end up getting gypped. This should have been a 20 bomb. But here's the next couple kills. Or one kill. So yeah, if you saw, I broke that other guy's armor, but he just runs off into the gas and dies. Let's go, baby. 20 bomb. I got scary there at the end, but we got it. See, I thought I had 20. I was all Lego. happy. But no. He went and died to the gas. Oh, what? 19? Fuck. I thought it gave me that kill on the guy in the gas because I hit him. But yeah, so let's say... Sometimes I've noticed it's harder to hear my voice in my videos, so I usually, whenever I talk, I try to raise the volume on that part. So, let's get to the part where I start talking. 
Let's... So right, right here, we're gonna talk. So split clip, confirm, and get out of split mode by hitting circle. Hit square, like option or edit, and go over here to clip volume, and just bump it up. We'll have it at, we're just gonna put it max. Let me hear what that sounds like. Confirm, get out of there. Oh, what, 19? See, that's pretty loud, but since we're gonna have music on this, it's probably fine. So we're gonna go over here. Um, you wanna add music at the beginning of the video, not on your actual intro. So hit X to add, and go over here to add music. Let me think if there's anything I missed out on. Oh, the thumbnail. I'll, I'll show the thumbnail after the music though. Maybe if it was Bloodshot. Yeah, dude. If I would've hit for red, he probably, it would probably would've gave me the kill. But, so you'd add music. And they got a few songs here. They got an option to import from your USB. So if you have a USB flash drive, you can use that. And get, like, better songs. Or different songs, at least. Um, but you can see what songs you like. They got some different ones. I'm gonna use this one. I think it's a cool song. It's pretty funny. But I don't yeah, it's not gonna fit the whole thing. Unfortunately. So I might um Well let me show how to like make the music quieter. So I wanna sh I want y'all to be able to hear when I was laughing about that one kill, so what I'm gonna do is right here. <laughs> So yeah, probably right here I'm going to start laughing. So what I'm going to do is hit square and lower the music volume by going to music volume. And we're going to put it down to, let's, let's try 30% see what that's like. So yeah, I'm actually going to make my voice louder too. So get out of music mode by hitting circle. And then uh, we're gonna split the clip right here. And then get out of split mode, hit option or square. I keep saying options because I, I picture squ uh, square as like editing or options, but you're just hitting square or edit mode, whatever. And go to clip volume and we're gonna bump it up and listen to this. <laughs> Yeah, that's just better, dude, so they can actually hear me laughing. Because if you don't do that, it's really hard, at least for my mic, because I don't have my mic that loud. <laughs> I got you, Curtis. I'm going to have timestamps in the bottom, bro, so you can, like, get to whatever part you need help with, dude. But, yeah, let me see what this part is. Let's go, like. baby. 20 bomb. I got scared. See, I don't need it to be this loud, because I don't even have music on this part. I could just throw another song on for the very end. I might do that. I'm gonna do that actually, just so y'all can see how to do it. So you would hit add, add music, and we're gonna add another song. I want a song without uh, words though, this time. I kinda like this. I dig it. So we're gonna add that and then I got scary there at the end, but got it. Oh, this Lego. song is dope. <laughs> I kind of want this on the intro instead. Oh, I'll probably make an intro and use this, to be honest. I thought it gave me that kill on the guy in the gas. But it... That is sick. I like this beat. Okay, so anyway, you would split the music here at the end of the video. Otherwise, it's just going to have a bunch of black screen when you upload this. So delete the rest of this. <laughs> yeah, the instrumental's nice, dude. You want me to make an outro, MJ? I could for you. I'll show you how to do it. This song's so good, bro. <laughs> Can't believe I never use this one. I like it. <laughs> They're arguing over the song. It's mine, it's mine. I like it, dude. Dun, dun. Good 
Yo, did it say I got the kill? Hang on. Let me pause it right there in the kill feed. I think it just says he died. Oh, it gave the other guy the kill. If y'all see that, the top left, that dude I killed, he got the credit for that. I got an assist, which is bogus. I'm the last one that hit him. It should have gave me the kill. I got robbed hard, dude. I don't care. That's unbelievable. But, uh... Yeah, I guess so, Trevor. Freaking bogus. Maybe he got the last hit. I really don't know. I'm not going to waste y'all's time and watch, but I'm, that's annoying. It should have been a 20 bomb. Like, it's the only reason I didn't post this video is because it's 19. I like to just post 20 or higher. The only reason I ever posted that 16 or that 18 kill game I had was because I liked the kills a lot that I got in it. Like, either there was snipe kills or I was just... The, the the 18 I posted, I don't know if y'all watched it, but the reason I posted it was because the end. I thought the end was hilarious. We almost got 1v4. Oh, he got red? Oh, I guess I didn't get robbed. Still sucks, though. I thought it gave me that kill on the guy in the gas. But, it... but yeah, I want to make sure that y'all can hear what I'm talking. So what we're going to do with this music here... Let's go. Is right before I say let's go... So right here we're going to split the music, confirm, and get out of split mode by hitting circle, square to edit, and we're going to lower the music volume again. 30 sounded good on the other part, let's see if it's good again, confirm. Lego. Yeah, I like that. Dude, this song oh, what, is so 19? good, I'm going to make a video with this song for sure. I thought it gave me that kill on the guy in the gas because I hit him. I really like it. Okay, so. Let's say you want to make an outro. You would just hit X. You lost all your flips today. I'm sorry, Trevor. Um, oh, wait. Get out of music mode by hitting circle until you get to this screen. Then you hit X to add. And actually, let me show how to make a thumbnail first. So for the thumbnail, what you can do is you can show like a particular part of the, the video if you want. Like... You could just take a picture of this. I don't know what the best uh, pictures for thumbnails are for H1Z1. I don't know if sometimes I'll show the end screen like this so they can see you actually got 19 or maybe just the just the uh, you survived is good. Let's do the you survived. So you would just scroll over it and um, let's say like, you can make this your thumbnail if you want. You would just hit options on your controller, and generate thumbnail, and it's going to be your thumbnail. Or, you could add more to this. So, let's say you want to add more. We'll hit X, and we're going to add an overlay. And you could add stickers. So, whatever. We're going we're gonna to put a picture of a salt shaker. We'll just have it pop up for a second, so it's in the thumbnail. And then, it's actually fitting, because I, I was salty that I didn't get 20, so maybe that, that's, that kind of works anyway. So, we'll have that in there, and you could do more, but I think that's all I'm going to add. You could add text, I guess we'll do that, we'll put 19 up here, and we'll just have it pop up for a second. Confirm. Oh, I deleted the salt shaker? Or where's the salt shaker? I'm confused. Hang on one sec. Why? Okay, no, it's there. It's there. So, we'll edit this. Let's make the color of it different. We'll have it be... We'll have it be blue. So, go to the saturation. Bring it all the way up. Confirm. And then... Uh, click circle one more time. And get to the part where it's got everything that you want for the thumbnail. Maybe I'll maybe I'll add more. So I want it to say 19 kills actually instead of just 19. So we'll hit um, square again, edit overlays, and go, scroll up to the 19 part. Hit square and edit text. So we're gonna add space and kills. R2 done, confirm, oh wait, no, 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 don't confirm, click out of this, 
and click out of it one more time and then hit options on your controller generate thumbnail and then you got your thumbnail made okay so now we're going to do the outro it's free oh, da, 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 da. i'm gonna show my stats heck yeah mj um whatever you want to add whatever you want your thumbnail to be bro so then for the outro i'll show you how to do a different kind of outro this time instead of the screenshot kind but instead of the intro i made so hit x we're gonna add clip and um i do have this outro made but i, I can't even get to it right now unfortunately so normally i would suggest making your intro and outro first and then doing the video to do an outro now i'm gonna have to use one of these for the outro which is fine i can do that i had a different one i wanted to do i'm gonna show y'all what it would have looked like this is the one i wanted to make for y'all we'll add this i thought it gave me that kill on the guy in the gas because i hit him but <clears throat> Since I want to show how to make one, we're going to delete this. Add, add clip. And we're going to have to use one of these. So we'll click horror, outro, add clip. So let's add, let's add our name at least. So X, add overlay. We'll have it up there for the whole time. Uh, transform. I'm going to put it on the little tombstone. No, because the share factor thing is going to pop up right there. We'll just have our name up here. And then uh, get out of here. Add another text. I'm going to put thanks for watching. I usually like putting that. I don't know if it is good to put or whatever. But Um... We'll have that up there for the whole time. Confirm. Let's change the color on it. We'll do green. Oh, what's up, Brit? Yeah, there you go. MJ. Just say new world record, bro. And then, so we're going to go over here to transform. And we'll move it over here to the right. Confirm. And then, if there's something else you want to add, we'll get out of this. Hit X again, and let's say you want to add some stickers. What kind of stickers they got? So they've got theme stickers, which I'm guessing is, like, depending on what outro you picked, it's got different stickers just for that. But let's go to these stickers, and we'll put, um, where's the like, subscribe stuff? Here we go. So we'll put the like. Confirm, we'll just have that up there the whole time. We'll put it, transform, move it, move it over here. Why not? And then we'll add another one, the subscribe. Have it up there the whole time, why not? Confirm, transform, and we'll put it over here. So let's see what that looks like. It's kind of boring. Let's add some effects to our to our words here. So, square, um, text effects. No, not text effects. Uh, animation is what I'm looking for. Beginning. Let's have them all random in. Rainbow. Why not? Ending. Random out. Where's random out? There we go. Then click out of this. Go to the next thing. The thank you for watching. Square. Uh, text animation. We'll do the same thing. Random in. <laughs> Rainbow's cool with when it has a color on it already. That's that's pretty dope. And random out. And then click out of this. Click out of this. I don't know if you can do it to these. Let me see. Square. Sticker animation. Okay, you can. They got different ones. Ooh, I like that. Pulse. Okay see what pop in we'll do fly out whatever we're gonna do some random ones now subscribe let's change this one 
uh, sticker animation, spin drop, <laughs> that's funny, uh, do the worm, slide out, okay, let's see what all this looks like real quick, <laughs> let's go, <laughs> that's so much to look at, but I think it's kind of fun, so why not? So there, you got your whole video done. This music right here is so loud, man. I uh, I don't know about that. Jesus, I should have. I guess it's fine. It wakes him up. Why not? <laughs> I remember Easy Op's first montage. He used this song, and I was like, dude, that's how I how I ended up playing with that kid, uh, that guy. Cause like I commented on his uh, video, I was like, do you still play this game? We need to play. And then we started playing. But I was like, I love this song you used, man. I never saw it on Share Factory. Oh, another thing I'll show y'all, I just popped in my head. So, uh, to keep people to watch your video, sometimes it's a smart idea to put something that really... I wouldn't say put the best part of your video at the beginning because then it makes the whole video kind of feel boring, but put something cool that happened at the very beginning and then just have it replay later. So for like a gameplay, let's let's show like that. Uh, what's something that's something cool? Oh, I want to show this part. But that this is probably the best part of the, the whole video, so I don't know if I will. Um... Let me think of a part. Maybe the rocket launch kill. Why not? We'll just, we'll add this in. Split the clip here, confirm. And then get out of split mode, square, clone clip. So you just copied the clip and you're gonna hit square. Move clip and we're gonna take it all the way to the beginning, right before the intro, or right after the intro. So that they can see this. So maybe now they'll want to watch the whole video to see that part. I don't know. Could work. Because I've, I've, I've studied a little bit on YouTube and I've heard like if you don't capture the audience's attention in the first 15 seconds, they're going to be gone, dude. And you, you got to get people to watch your video because the longer they watch the video, the more likely YouTube is going to recommend it because it likes watch time. Which is why live streams tend to do really uh, help channels more than just regular videos, because the watch time on it goes up. It gets that's why live streams get recommended more than than videos do. But um, hang on, let me make sure I didn't miss anything. What's up, default account? Yeah, I am a teacher, man. Hopefully this helps somebody. I know it's going to help MJ and probably Curtis, so that's cool. I like watching montages, so... So, yeah. Well, I'm trying to think if there's something, like a common mistake I would do and then tell you how to fix it. One thing is be careful not to delete your whole... your clip. Um, your, just take your time at first, because... It took me a while to get to the point where I don't accidentally delete all my work. What's up, Swag? Nice, MJ. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much it. I think I've showed everything that I need to show. Is there anything else? Maybe a filter? Throw on a filter? I could show you all that, I think. So say you want to change how this this part of the video looks. We're going to hit X. Where would that be? I think add overlay. Um, maybe not. Maybe this isn't the right thing. It very well might not be. I'm trying to remember. Definitely not here. Camera effects. There's got to be a way to do it. I'm trying to remember. Square... Ooh, pan and zoom, dude. This might help with your, uh... This might help. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, ninja. Pan and zoom, that's what you want, dude. So let's go back to that, that kill. He was asking me how to zoom in on kills. So let's say we want to zoom in on this guy that we killed. 
So right here, we're going to hit add. Uh, where was it? No, it's not this. Where was I? Add filter. Ooh, this is the filters I was looking for. Okay, we're going to do that after, though. Where was that? Okay, yeah, so you hit square, and then pan and zoom. We're going to zoom in. That's probably going to be enough. And we'll have it be right here. That should be the right spot. Let's see. But maybe you want to show the kill and then zoom in on their name. So actually, so to get rid of this effect, let's hit square. Uh, where would it be? No. Mm. Square, pan and zoom. Let's put it back down to normal. And then scroll until we actually want it to zoom in. So right here, we'll have it zoom in. Right after we get the kill. Hang on. So right there, uh, square, pan and zoom. And then go up. Let's do whatever. We'll do 200. And put it right there on their name. You could zoom in even more if you want. Do it all the way. Really expose this guy. You just destroyed him. Wait, why is the whole... Okay, I'm figuring it. I understand now. Sorry. I'm learning myself because I've never used this before. So pan and zoom. We'll put it all the way down. And what we're going to have to do is split the clip right when we want. So right here, split the clip. Then get out of split mode. Hit square. Pan and zoom. Put it all the way up. And then scroll down to the name. And bam. Confirm. There you go. And maybe... Maybe right after it's gonna go... Or right before it goes away. We'll hit square. Split the clip again. And we could just get rid of this part. Let's see what that looks like. Hopefully that didn't ruin it. Yeah, that works. What's up, Bugatti? Hello. Thanks, Battlecry. I don't know if I will, though. I don't... I don't really see... I don't think people would be too interested in watching it. Maybe someone, but... A few people. I was just trying to do this to help. Okay, default. I'll see you later, bro. Thanks for stopping by. And hola, Bugatti. I should have said hola. I think I said hello. But what else was I going to show? Oh, yeah, the filters. So let's say... Let's just say for the opening clip, we want to add a filter. So get to this screen right here. Hit X. Um, Where was it? Add filter. So let's say you want it to look inverted. Why not? <laughs> that brings back memories there was one time where someone uh showed me how to put it on inverted when i was playing and <laughs> i actually ended up winning that game but then i turned it off but this is how it looked when i played that time that's kind of cool yeah you could change how stuff looks yeah no problem g uh g city Let's play a duo. Uh, I kind of want, I kind of want to end the stream whenever I'm done doing this, so it's like when it's a video, people can. Uh, I mean, maybe I'll get on H1. I don't know. I could, and then just have the timestamps down there. I guess. But I think that's gonna do it. So then, when your video's done, I don't know if I want to use this as a video, bro. Because this isn't my kind of video. Usually, <laughs> I wouldn't have the... <laughs> I was kind of BSing some of this crap. <laughs> I got random effects for no reason. <laughs> Whatever. Maybe I'll upload it regardless. But, um... So when your video's done... Um... You would hit... So you already got your thumbnail made, so you're going to hit export to gallery. And um, then the, your video is going to render. Maybe I will post this 19 kill win or whatever. 
It's not really edited to perfection. It's pretty good though. It's not bad. Ah, it's good. I'll I'll upload this, whatever. But um the smoke looked cool. <laughs> yeah. But uh yeah, G City, you and MJ asked for this, so I was like, okay, if two people ask, that's quite a lot for me, because I don't usually people don't ask me to do something other than play H1, so figure I may as well. The only other thing that I've ever had requested like crazy is my settings, but my settings change so often that I don't want to make a video about them because it's not going to be accurate. My settings change like every day. But yeah, so this is going to render... I don't I don't think I'm going to show the part of it uploading. I'll just upload it later. I kind of want to show it, but it's going to take a while to upload. It's going to take me a few minutes, so I don't think I will. But once you... I'll show... Like... I'll get to the point of where I'm about to upload it. Or I'll, I'll start the upload and then I'll just cancel it. So that y'all can see like how to do tags and stuff. Never show your settings? I always show my settings like... Like when they come to the stream G-City, I'll show them. Like, but that's just my settings right then. I just don't want to make a video about my settings. Because then if people go watch the video, they're going to think, okay, this is what he plays on. But no, you could come the next day and they're going to be different. But if someone asks me, I, I always show them in my stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and is third person aiming only arcade? Yeah, I think so. At least for right now it is. I don't know about the future. But yeah, once once the video renders, then you're going to hit share. Or share, share later if you want. If you say you want to play your game and you don't want to upload right then. You just hit share later, and you upload it later. But say you're ready to upload it now, you hit share. And you can upload it to Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube, or all of them, I think. I don't know. I've only ever uploaded to YouTube, but... So you would hit YouTube. And if you've never done this before, you're going to have to link your YouTube to your PlayStation account, but it's pretty easy. So, anyway, now you got to pick your title. See, we already got a decent thumbnail there. So... You could title it whatever. I usually have H1Z1 at the beginning of mine. So, I don't know if that's best or not. I'm no expert. But then I would just, I would call mine 19 kill solo. And then your description. You want your description to be... Uh, the first two lines are what people are usually going to read. So, make that interesting if you can. Like... Um, I try not to be super clickbaity or stuff, but I I don't know. At the same time, I do want views, so I don't know. I would I would put this like six snipe shots. I don't know. I don't know. You put whatever for your description. I'm no I'm no expert in that department, but definitely have a description. It helps. I think six sniper shots. Maybe put H1Z1. Solo gameplay. What's up, Krampus? And then... What else would I put? Solo gameplay. Um, I don't know. I usually end up saying, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe at the bottom. But... I want to add more to this first. Um, I guess I could put salty. I didn't get a 20 bomb. Because I was salty. I got robbed. Well, I didn't really get robbed. I got unlucky though. So then... Oh shoot. So say that's good for your description. Uh, probably the most important thing is here is your tags. For the game I'm playing here, I would definitely say have H1Z1 in your tag. And how tags work, you gotta put the, the word that you want, or the phrase, whatever, and then hit comma, space. And then you add your next tag. Otherwise, it's not gonna work, I'm pretty sure. So then we're gonna put, we'll put H1Z1 PS4. 
I don't know the best tags, but I seem to get decent views, so maybe my tags are good. This is what I would usually put. I would put, um, what else? H1Z1 gameplay is one I usually use. Uh, M40. I don't know, you gotta think of what people are typing that, like, think about who you're trying to get to watch your video, and then think about what you think they are typing into YouTube. I think that's the best way to go about it, but I, like I said, I don't, I'm not an expert at this. Um, another thing you could do is, I don't know if this helps, but you could tag, like, more popular people who upload the same kind of video that you're uploading, so, uh, I don't know if this helps. I could put Demon H1Z1 or YouTube Jeffrey H1Z1 or Tactic TV. I don't know if that helps really, to be honest, but those are like popular H1Z1 players, even though Tactic doesn't play anymore. What's up, MJ? Yeah, like Alex said, you wanna get you wanna get views, you gotta put in the hood, gone wrong. Um, police called, all that stuff. Gone, yeah, gone wrong, gone sexual. That's what you want for your tags. <laughs> uh, I think so, MJ. Definitely put some tags, dude. If you haven't been putting tags, I think that's a mistake. I've kind of found out, though, that sometimes... Barely having any tags helps more than having a bunch of tags. I don't know if that was just luck or one-time deal, but some people, you can check people's tags, and some people don't even really put that many tags, and they get a lot of views, so I think that's actually better. Don't don't put a bunch of tags. I'm actually going to get rid of this part. I think this might be enough, to be honest. Three, three tags. I could be wrong, but... A lot of popular videos I've seen usually only have like, I would say around eight tags. So maybe I'll put a few more, but I used to just try to fill it up all the way that I possibly could. You mean it puts tags by itself? It might. Well, that's good, MJ. I don't think for mine it does it automatically. But we're going to add... We're going to add some more stuff. So, H1Z1. We'll add Season 4. Why not? Maybe maybe that'll work. Um, H, H1. Oh, this is something I like to put. H1. And then Z1. Um, PS4 Pro. Oh, shoot. So yeah, just add your tags, whatever. And if you want to be careful, you could upload private and then make sure, check it yourself. If you upload private, only you can see it. And you could watch video games, games. That might be a good idea, Alex, I don't know. But you could upload it private and then check it on your phone or whatever. Make sure that the video doesn't have any issues. And then you can turn it on public from your phone or whatever you watch your video on. You could do unlisted, which is what I did for my rap videos. I put them on unlisted, and then I sent them to my friend Alex there, who's in the chat, and my other friend Jay. Um, I sent them links so that they could see the video. The video wasn't public, but it was unlisted so they could see it. And I asked them, like, what do you think, before I actually made it public? Because I didn't want to get... I knew <laughs> making a rap for a video game might be a little weird, but I wanted to get their opinion before I uploaded it. And then I turned it on public, but... So yeah, you would just hit... If you're ready to make your video, you would hit public. You could tag players so that your friends can see the video. I usually don't tag people. I would, but I don't... The thing is, I usually upload on my... Uh, from my computer. Like, I upload private at this point and then edit it on my PC. But if I was actually going to upload this... Like I am, I'd probably tag some people who might be interested in watching it. Like, I try not to spam people, but 
like if I know someone would be fine with it, I would tag like easy death matter dead eyed. I know they're not gonna care. They're like, sure, we'll watch it. Or you could say screw it and tag everybody, f them. If they don't want to watch it, then whatever. <laughs> but you could just do that and then hit share. Oh, and PSN audience, I would say have it on anyone, unless you don't want everyone to see it. Um, I would just leave it on anyone. If they don't want to watch it, they don't gotta watch it. And then hit share, and it'll upload. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this uh, for this how-to guide. I'm gonna. If y'all want to play H1 with me, I'm about to appear online. But I'm going to end the stream here because I want this stream to just be about Share Factory and how to do that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to call it there. And then if y'all want to play with me, I'll appear online. We'll play a couple games if you want. Just, uh, I'll, ma I'll make a party that's open and then y'all could just join on that. But yeah, let me make sure I'm not missing anything in the chat. Hang on one sec. No, we're good. Okay. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped you in some way, shape, or form. I could, MJ, but it's, it would be like a short stream, bro. I might. I might. I'll think about it. But if this helped you out, like, comment, subscribe. I usually don't do this kind of video, though. Just fair warning. Hey, what's up, Taryn? What a cute... <laughs> Appreciate it, bro. Um, so, yeah. I got you, MJ. <laughs> I did this for you, man. And that G-City guy. Y'all asked for it, so... I like seeing uh, cool H1 videos anyway, so... It's good for me, too. I'll get to see better ones. We're gonna call it there. Appreciate y'all watching, and I might I might go live with H1 here in a sec, so I don't know if I will, but if not, I'll definitely be on tomorrow on stream. But yeah, peace.